Saubona. Literally, it means I see you. You might reply by saying Sakona, which translates into English as I am here. The order of exchange is significant. It means that until you see me, I do not exist. When you do see me, you bring me into existence. This is part of what is called Ubuntu. A person is a person because of other people. Unit 3. Understanding Ethical Leadership. In this unit, you will begin to learn about the characteristics of ethical leadership. However, we must first understand what ethics are not. Ethics are not morals, they are not feelings, they are not laws that are created by humans. They are an outgrowth of morality, and ethics are actions that happen to be based on concepts of right and wrong. However, that in itself presents the challenge for ethical leadership. Your first reading will be a reading from Confucius, and you might find this to be a challenging reading. Confucius was an ancient philosopher uh, before the time of Plato, um, and he wrote in a style of writing that was unique to Eastern literature. The reading that you are going to read is called The Analects, and the Analects were the foundation of Chinese leadership for quite some time. The Analects are essentially a series of short sayings and some dialogues, similar to Plato's dialogue. In particular, Confucius believes that ethical leadership has its, as its foundation the concept of filial piety, which means respect for elders and younger people, as well as the characteristic of trustworthiness. Those who are leaders typically have a strong understanding of the ancient rituals, as well as the concept of virtue. Your next reading is a framework for thinking ethically. And again, the authors point out that ethics are not the same as religion, laws, or feelings. They discuss the fact that ethical decisions are extremely challenging. And there's two main reasons why these decisions are challenging. The first is you need to understand the basis for your ethical standard. And then you need to know how to apply those standards. They then present a thorough discussion on five different standards for understanding ethics. From that, they then present a framework for making ethical decisions following certain steps that you can ask yourself questions and begin to make ethical decisions. While ethical leadership is something that may be challenging, I urge you to reflect on the concepts that are discussed in this section to begin to think about your own situations and examples of when you might have encountered ethical decisions, when you might have made ethical decisions, and when you might have encountered unethical decisions. And I'd encourage you to reflect on the consequences of each of those decisions. That will help you as you begin to think about your own philosophy of leadership. Aristotle once said, it is easy to perform a good action, but not easy to acquire a settled habit of performing such actions.